Hi, I'm Bill Fell, a Sikorsky aircraft test pilot, and this is the S-97 Raider. This is Aircraft One. We flew this in flight test uh, for about 20 hours, and then we retired Aircraft One, and we're flying Aircraft Two now in flight test down in uh, Florida. Uh, the, a little growth of the Raider is our offering for the FARA program. Now, if we look at the prop here, this is kind of what makes X2 technology go, the pusher prop, that we are able to put a lot of horsepower to this prop. The Army wants to go 180 knots for the uh, FARA program, and we've gone over 200 knots in this, uh, in this aircraft already. It has some airplane-like features that you have elevators and uh, rudders on the tail. And in low speed flight, you use the difference in torque between the main rotors to uh, turn the aircraft on the yaw axis. In high speed flight, you coordinate it with, uh, with the rudders and are able to, uh, it flies more like an airplane in high speed flight at airplane like speeds as well. So in here is the uh, transmission. Now there's nothing magical about X2 technology. The lower rotor is very much like any other lower rotor. You have three hydraulic servos that are pushing on a swash plate and making those inputs to the flight controls. You have three more hydraulic servos that are pushing on a swash plate under the main gearbox and they have control rods that go through a standpipe in the gearbox to the upper rotor. But to the pilot, it's all fly-by-wire. You push forward on the stick, the nose pushes, tilts down, and you're able to uh, control it just like you would any other aircraft. The S-97 Raider was designed to put six troops in the back and have a uh, kind of a multi-role capability. It is a reconnaissance and attack aircraft that the FARA is not looking for uh, the capability to put troops in the back. But we will use the bay for uh, large weapons and uh, air-launched effects uh, for the FARA aircraft. The cockpit is situated for uh, two pilots, uh, very comfortable seats. If you look on the overhead, most aircraft have you know, a hundred circuit breakers and all sorts of switches that there's nothing up there. It's because everything is integrated into the multifunction displays. The circuit breakers are solid state power controllers that the pilot controls through the multifunction display. How does the pilot control it? So cyclic inputs are made to control the uh, roll and the pitch axis. The collective is for up and down and then he has a switch to push fore and aft for the uh, pusher prop to be able to increase or decrease thrust. I'll tell you, this is about a 10,000 pound machine and it really is a hot rod. All of the control power that you get out of this rigid rotor makes it feel more like you're kind of strapping this thing onto your back. It gives it a real sports car feel and the uh, S97 Raider is a hot rod and we're gonna continue to expand the envelope and we're building the FARA competitive prototype down in Florida now, and we'll soon be flying that aircraft.